Yes, I wrote this on my way driving up from Nebraska today. I'm Woo! that guy. <laughs> what everyone likes to say is lightning's more likely to hit you than winning the millions, and conceptually this makes sense. But you also know the Ben Franklin story and love books of weird facts like how that park ranger guy got struck by lightning seven times so lightning doesn't feel, well, so wildly implausible. <laughs> so you put down two bucks, buy a ticket, why the hell not? <laughs> Were you going to use those two dollars to make the world any better or safer anyway? <laughs> no, you weren't. Roy Sullivan, the park ranger guy, actually got hit eight times. Just no witnesses or injuries for the one where he was working in a field as a kid. He got knocked out the second or third time while driving a truck. And the truck stopped near a cliff's edge. The last one even didn't kill him. Neither did the bear. He had to chase away with a stick after he'd shambled back to his truck to get some goddamn help. After you buy the ticket, no. You don't expect the universe will necessarily open up, but it does seem okay to dream a little. You see that huge number on the billboards and imagine how you'd divide it up. So much to family, so much to investment, where the first vacation will be, what ways you'd improve society by your charitable decisions. So many angles you need to consider with those millions. When the numbers come, it's a Wednesday night. You have a single one. It's 33. A little bit of you Bigger than you want to admit, admits you feel a little disappointed. You look at those two threes and think, you were 33 when you met a woman who's still with you now. She even agreed to marry you. And even though you were alone at a convenience store in somewhere South Dakota, driving to work away from home for a day, she'll still be waiting for you when you're done. Now how about that? <laughs> He was 71. It wasn't lightning, or bears, or tigers, or meteorites. He shot himself in the stomach because he thought someone didn't love him enough. Yeah, his story ends there. Who cares what numbers you did or didn't get? Who cares what the odds are for our winnings, for our survival? You keep on through good. You keep on through hair on fire, tires skidded to the edge, bears in your fucking face. You keep on because there's no such thing as a script. Anything can happen. No matter how ludicrous, anything you can imagine is possible. And so are all the things you can't. Woo!